When man, the naked ape, finally stood upright, his hands were left free to use weapons. He also had the brain potential to make them. Now the act of learning and hunting wasn't all that made up a hunting ape. He had to have genetic help. Basic biological changes in his nature were necessary. In other words, his personality had to be changed biologically as well as psychologically. With the aid of eons of time and natural selection, he remotivated himself from a life of fruit picker of continuous forest snacks to a life of hunter, killer, food preparer, somewhat like the pure carnivores, the cats. excavations revealed a prehistoric fossil story about a band of Homo erectus believed to have hunted here over 500,000 years ago. Most of the tools found in the valley were made of alien stone, which means that they were carried here in anticipation of the hunt. These early hunters had some understanding of place and season and could visualize events in the future. They knew that the migratory grazing animals would be moving south such natural funnels as the Ambrona Valley, migrating to the warmer lowlands where they graze for winter. The basic patterns of behavior developed by us in these early days as hunting apes still shines through all our affairs today, no matter how lofty we make them appear. The basic aggressive urge of the hunt has never changed, only its form. 